in my boots so I hope to uh, first aid training, fire safety, firearm safety, uh, that has not happened yet, recreational sports. Now the program at a glance, um, it consists of, now I want to get a bit more into uh, the meat and potatoes of the program, and it consists of group age groups um, starting at, at six to eight, and we call that group the Mutajali. The next age group is uh, ages nine and ten, and we call that group the Mujahideen. The and then the next age group is from 11 to 16, and we call that group the Sadikun. Now there's another group of, uh, of boys uh, but 16 and up, and that is kind of yet to, to be established. Okay, so I'm moving to that. Okay. Um, a typical meeting. Now we meet on Fridays uh, between 6 30 and 9. Okay, yeah, a little bit more there. And so we would open up, you can see the opening here, we would open up with a recitation of the body now. And then we would get go into what is called orientation. And in the orientation, this is a, a couple, about, about 10 minutes, well, about, about, about 10 minutes or less. Uh, the scouts would um, recite the scout pledge. And at this time, I'd like to um, point to that in, in the document, if you have one, the scout pledge is next to the last next to the last page just so you can get a look at what the what the scout actually scout page is not in, in this document but they recite the scout pledge my son knows it well I, I don't know it and then the 16 duties now the 16 duties are in this document on page eight and this is what they recite at, at every meeting so they recite the 16 duties and as you can see that's on page eight Let's so take a look at it. And the scout oath, actually the scout oath is the pledge, and that is on page nine. And they do this, we call this orientation at the beginning of, of, of each meeting. And they should memorize this. Uh, after the orientation comes PT. So the scouts are involved in some, some exercise. And that lasts um, about five or uh, 10 minutes, depending upon um, who that, who the scout leader is. Uh, conducting the exercise program. After the exercise program, what the boys do is they do drilling. Uh, we're very known for our drilling when we do presentations uh, in, in any in any event. Uh, people are, are very impressed, and especially our banker, people are very impressed with the way our, our scouts drill. Hey, uh, after the drilling, what comes is the activities. And the activities uh, can include, uh, from, do include some studies, uh, the Quran, martial arts, tent pitching, and archery. And I want to come back to the activities for just for a moment. But the things I mentioned before the activities, that has to happen at each scout meeting because that is part of what the scouts do. So if in fact, um, as troops are formed, this is what they have to do. They have to do the orientation and the opening, and then um, certain activities, depending upon the uh, actually the expertise of what people bring to the program. And I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit if I may. Okay. Um, I'm on the next. Yeah, and so now in the activities, if you could focus your attention uh, on the next slide. It does say merit badges. Now, there are a lot of categories in which scouts can get a merit or earn a merit badge. However, 
this depends upon having um, men or people with expertise to actually come in and teach them uh, the, the fundamentals or how you would go about, or what you, how, how you would go about, for example, if someone were teaching personal fitness or photography, you would need the expertise for that. Now, so and so, as you can see, there's a long list of merit badge, uh, merit badge quota scouts. All of them are not being being instituted, at least in the, the truth of the father, which is the truth in Delaware. However, a good number of them are merit badge which and all scouts uh, would like to delve into, and some of them, the Duwamish scouts as a larger organization, are doing. And the pictures aren't showing up, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> uh, the field trips. Um, once a month, we go on field trips. Each group goes on a field trip. Uh, and again, that's to enhance a particular phase of training, um, as well as earning a merit badge. And so, what you would see here, you would actually see uh, uh, our truth or the Delta truth that it works out of the truth um, that, that has been developed from Master of Alpha is called Truth of Father. And some of the, the, the activities or the trips that I that you went on was the, the citywide Chester cleanup. Um, the 100, 1001 invention exhibit, many of you may have uh, remembered when that happened in Washington, D.C. And I had some pictures of, of Yusuf and, and, and Muhammad in um, the of um, Fort Delaware, it was in Fort Delaware, they kind of wrote the, uh, the um, I don't know what Fort Delaware is. But they took a ferry um, over to Port Delaware and they enjoyed that a lot. So it's just uh, an idea of, of the field that we went on. Far show at Port Delaware. The boys participated uh, not too long ago in the Muslim um, basketball tournament that was actually held uh, at a, a basketball court that was here somewhere in New York. Uh, they also participated in a in a community arts festival in which uh, well, in which um, they actually do community service. And what they did was they uh, set up and they broke down the tables for particular vendors. And that happens, uh, I forget, somewhere in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, the rocket launch recently we went we we the boys built rockets. And we launched and went out to the site in somewhere in PA and we launched the rockets. Uh, they really, really did enjoy that. Now, that's just some of the activities that Troop Apollo have, have been on. Now, other troops, they go, they participate in activities, of course, within uh, the area in which uh, they live. Now, the overnight. Uh, once a month, the scouts uh, sleep overnight in, in the masjid, um, and they participate in some, in some fun activities, and they build brotherhood, uh, to stories, and it just, you know, it's a chance for them to just let their hair down for, let their hair down for a moment. And sometimes we have the overnighters so that we make, if we go on a, a, a trip that morning, for example, if during Ramadan, uh, what we would do is we would visit certain various massages, and or for for example the, the breakfast that happens in at uh, Nashville in Philadelphia. Um, what's the school called? Um, Hamsa. Okay, they have a, a breakfast on Christmas, and so what we would do is we would sleep overnight, and we would all go to uh, to, to that particular event. Uh, the camping trips are. Are, 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 are an integral part of, of the Dwight Scouts and where they take, we take two trips a month. Uh, I, have, I have a whole bunch of pictures. I didn't want to type. But anyway, uh, we have been going to, for the past year, Fresh Creek, 
and, and Hickory Run. Uh, our last camping trip just has a music came from the last camping trip, uh, which was in August. And that was a long time. They really, really enjoyed themselves. Because what they got a chance to do is to add to uh, the activities that they normally do while they're camping. And those activities, that, as you can see, include hiking and going up. And actually, they might hike. Um, archery, martial arts, CPR training. Uh, they ran an obstacle course uh, with Chavi. Uh, they were introduced to learn how to use certain uh, power tools or certain tools for, for building. And they would have motivation to talk. So at night they would gather around fire and they would have a hot dog. Uh, of course, the, the hot dogs are always be hot. And uh, they would uh, have nice little motivational talks. And they really enjoyed themselves from the last uh, camping trip at Mel's time. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make that one because I had to take my phone to move her into to college, but I really wanted to go to that one. Other activities um, and events, um, often what our troop has done, we have utilized, we have went to Home Depot and Lowe's. They have a, a workshop where the where, you know, uh, children can, can build things, so they would build things like houses. And like that out of wood, they would teach them how to how to build uh, certain certain items. Um, uh, our troop, we went on this is something that we're going to um, definitely incorporate into what we do. We had a fishing trip. Uh, we had our first successful uh, fishing trip at the Chesapeake. Well, we fished on the Chesapeake. Very uh, the, the scouts enjoyed themselves a lot on the field trips or well, on the fishing trip. And um, we are now bringing back a Dual Scout Banquet, and I do have uh, the, the brochure of the Dual Scout Banquet. And just brought that back, at, they hadn't had a banquet in, in seven years, and they had a very successful banquet um, this year. Now, volunteers. Um, those who volunteer in the Dual Scout program, like myself, it, it, it is strictly volunteer and, and peaceful. Uh, I decided to, the reason why I joined, I am a, a, a scout leader because I want to spend with, with my son and some, some good quality time. And so I'm a dual scout uh, a leader and uh, we don't take any, we don't take any, any money for this. It's, it's, it's strictly volunteer. And as you know, the success of any volunteer program does depend upon the people that are involved. And so, um, if in fact, so what I want to propose, what I, what I want to propose, and I've also talked with uh, the other scout leader, his name is uh, Idris, I propose, I propose to him that uh, Tarbia is interested in either forming a troop or joining our troop. And, it's, and I have had to talk with them because our troop right now consists of, I mean, Troop Atala, we meet with Savvy Poon and we go back, we we would go to their master and have a meeting one week, one Friday, and then they would come to our master. Um, Brother Nasir's uh, troop, no, Troop of Savvy Poon, uh, they're a little bit larger than ours. Troop Atala actually consists of of three boys. My son, uh, brother, uh, another brother's son, and Idris's son. And uh, we want to sort of be a little bit more autonomous. And um, we, I think we've exhausted the recruitment in, in our area, which is in, in North Wilmington. We've been doing this for about a year. I really don't think that we're going to get any more uh, uh, we to join our troop. And so um, the proposal is, and I propose this to you, if in fact um, here at Carvia, at U.S. parents, would you, be, is it, would you be interested in forming a, a, a troop or joining our troop? And that's something you would uh, actually have to have to think about and talk about, but I will say, I'm, I'm more for um, the boys joining our troops um, to keep, to keep it and, and the reason why is because uh, I've seen what is, I've seen what is happening here at 
at Carvia, and I mean, a school has formed in, in a short period of time, and we're making uh, we're making uh, these by a law's will, and so um, there are. I, I, I think that um, those who are interested would uh, be willing to uh, volunteer their services so we can expand what we do during our meetings. And that's really, really important because that's the deficit that we are in right now at, at, in North Bloomington because it really does depend upon um, volunteerism. Now, if I may, the document that you have is with you with uh, in front of you. That is the document of, um, this is the program manual for national law. Master, and the reason why I gave it to you is so you can see what the Jawala Scouts looks like at its best. They're working with sometimes 30, 30 boys and 30 boys at, at, that, at, at that age, as you know, is a task, is a job. And so um, they have a space and their program is really a very good program. And so I wanted, I, I'm giving this to you just to let you see what a well-oiled Dual Scout program looks like. And I'm very confident that if uh, we have your boys join our troop, we can be just as well oiled because of the resources that are here and um, and what um, the, the scout leaders, myself and Idris, know of. So, so everything, as you go through this document, everything is, um, this is this document was particular to their group. And so, um, you know, like for example, scout rules and regulations on page two, um, you know, we it, that can be uh, uh, formed according to uh, how our team feels what scouts, what, what, what scout rules and regulations should be. They even had an anti bullying culture here, and as you know, in education, it's a big thing now in, in education. And so they felt the need to have this because, so, to be quite honest, they were having some problems um, within the truth being with that many boys. There is a um, a membership, and the current membership is $10 a month um, for, for the Jamal Scouts. Um, and again, this document is particular to of that particular that particular truth. And so what we would do is use this sort of as a template and just build and just build on it. And I'm very um, I'm very excited about it uh, because I would really like to operate on a on a level like this. And it's but it's going to take the the um, uh, the participation of, of of the fathers to come in and and really you know be, be, be dedicated to uh, making this program run very well because i've seen it run very very well and those who can do it they are they are really doing it well and i'd like to see our troop do, do the same so uh where we go from here is is to see you know how many boys what, what parents are interested in having their boys um uh, uh, join Troop of Talib, you know, their ages, and then we would have to um, hopefully we can get some more participation from the fathers so we can begin, uh, you know, even having a program manual very similar to this and and taking it from there. Um, I have a question, sir. What, what are the pros and cons of having um, a troop? Be a separate versus joining the Okay. Um, I think the pros is the resources. First of all, uh, you are edu uh, there are educated students. Okay. And for example, with in when we deal with 
our Islamic activities. Oftentimes, our Islamic activities uh, in, in our meetings, they're not, um, they don't, they're not running properly, meaning they're, you know, we don't have, I want to use the word like a curriculum or something to say this is what we're going to do and to be consistent at that. And so, being that this is an Islamic institution, perhaps, I, I, I mean, you have the resources because uh, you have some studies, for example. Um, uh, the location, uh, it is, it is I, I think it's a, it, it, it's a plus. Um, the other truth leader, he, he lives very close to this area. And, and for me also, it would be, um, although I live closer to the National of Calthar, but uh, being, being that my son goes to the school, it would be a little bit better, you know, to have, have the truth here. Uh, the, the cons, um, the cons of having the truth here. That's what you. Okay, one of the cons that yeah. I would say, you know, to the Khalid, it immediately, you know, plural would be Taliban. Mm -hmm. okay. Right, that's, that's a big con. Yes, okay. And, and, you know, personally, I would be very concerned, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because a lot of our terminology gets hijacked. Yes. You know, yes. and we know that. Yes. And this is one of the hijacked uh, terminology. Yes. So, my concern is just that. I mean, uh, personally, uh, I'm sure everybody would love to just join in something that is already going on. However, we would like to, you know, personally, I would, I would suggest that we, uh, at least for the purposes of the real school students, we use a terminology that's not hijacked. It's not already hijacked. Well, uh, it if the truth is formed, meaning um, we suit the, uh, the boys from the community doing the truth, I don't see anything wrong with when we can even we can change the name. That's, that's see, I think even if there are two groups, technically you're going to be running. You're going to have to. You're filing all the, all, the, all the documentation and all the you know formation uh, So it's not like by asking this question, I'm volunteering myself to do any of these things. So, so the burden is still on you. Yes. Uh, so whatever you feel is more practical, short of you know being part of the domain. Well, if that's a concern, then that is something. Um, if there are a number of scout managers, so let's say, for example, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the men in the community, they wanted their a family in the community wanted something to be a, be a part, I would ask or I would consult you know, the the, the families who have their children in the uh, in the organization to just take a look at that see this issue and you know if, if it's something that as a group we feel as though that may be uh, not in our best interest then we would have to it would change it would change you know, that's that's how I, I would say about handling it that's how I would go about handling it. Okay, I just wanted my concern to so I, know, I know it, uh, I'm sure you'll you come up with a good solution. Yes, uh, at a time, um, there was a, uh, years ago, mention of Calthar, uh, they entertained having a, a dual spell truth. Uh, however, in the 16 duties, and I looked at here and it wasn't in here, there was a phrase that said it had something to do with our, 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 um, uh, Die for the for the sake of Islam. That was the, and that was in, that that came up, and that's one of the reasons why uh, Imam Rumi Ali kind of did, didn't want to move on it because of the time that we were in and what was happening, and that even came back to the leadership and 
that had to be discussed. And it's not in here, so uh, maybe, I'm going to say maybe it has been actually taken out. So, so, the, so, the, so the organization is definitely, you know, amenable to those types of things because it is not here. So it's just about forming now. Really, it's just about forming the truth and um, and seeing seeing our numbers and seeing what what um, because really it, we do need. The participation from from the men to, to be to be quite to be quite frank, two troop leaders would have a very difficult time uh, with with the fifteen wars. I, I've seen it, and that's why a lot of some of the troops aren't aren't progressing because they don't have the the men to actually to run the program. So we definitely need uh, you know. Uh, Volunteers to, to help us in running this program. We have the program, it's just that we continue to, to run it and we can mention it. Any more questions? If somebody wants to join, would they contact you or how does it work? Yes, uh, I have a uh, another brochure here with my contact on it, but I'll, I'll give it out. Um, so, make some copies of it. It has my name and my phone number. And I can be contacted for anyone who wants to, you know, to, to join the box. So, maybe if you have some, you make copies and leave it here for parents, whoever interested, they can come pick it up and contact you directly. Now, let, let me ask um, would you, are we still going to go forward with the, the demo? Because we were talking, we were talking with here, and he yeah. actually thought that the boys would, were going to be here today. And because there is a meeting book that's going to happen in about an hour at the at, at, at Master of Sadly Coon, and they were under the impression that they were going to come up here to give you a demo. Um, that that should probably have to happen next week. Okay. And people would still like to see more and see what we see what we do as far as the. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. 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 Next next BTA meeting. Okay. Thank you. So in the next BTA meeting, um, you're gonna bring the all the uh, the boys from uh, the Royal Scouts is where they can um, uh, the, so demo. Like a demo, you know, then have an idea what's going on. All right, so that's well, kind of uh, another way. Okay, so inshallah, uh, that's one thing we have for today. And uh, as far as the, the sheet that I passed for volunteer, please if you can. Uh, Write your name and what time or day you want to volunteer, inshallah. Even though I know we don't have the time in there, but if you want to put uh, the date and put a time on it, that's fine. And then you can uh, bring it to the school and uh, we have a an file, inshallah. Now, I'm going to award you. Okay. We can also have the. Well, Inshallah, the same uh, sheet that we are uh, giving you to sign up, if you didn't decide yet, Inshallah, we can have it as a spread sheet, uh, a spread sheet uh, in Google Doc and have uh, having shared it with all the parents and teachers. And uh, you can just go in and type in your name under the event and the day that you are willing, Inshallah, to help us with our events, Inshallah. Uh, one last thing. I have some parents approach me as far as the uniform for school. And I can make no decisions because I have kids here too. So uh, I need people to say yes to one or the other. Uh, right now, we have, we have this. I, I, know, but I'm just, uh, I know I can't say that, so I want to get it out of my view. We have this one right now. And some people said, would like to change this to this. 
can't be heard that too. Yes. And then, um, no, the score boys, girls, uh, I just asked my sister to make a formal, I mean, a uniform already. So, inshallah, maybe if you get that from me, I get, you know, that probably within a week or two. Uh, so, but right now I'm talking about boys because some, they say the material is, it's, uh, so not convenient, inshallah, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say this is my first year for kids too. So, I'm just trying to see, voting on this. Yes. So, uh, whoever wants this, please raise your hand. Can I comment before you? Yes. Before you do that, okay. Every time we have something that comes, up, I don't need a microphone. No. Every time we have something that comes up about uniforms, and I have no objection to it, it's always boys. Guess who's hot? <laughs> okay, the folks in t-shirts and shorts, we're not that concerned about. You want to come up with something, the kimura, thing down the hair, heavy fabric, don't forget us, please. Because this is why I said to you earlier, no, I didn't want to vote for it. Because once again, we're catering to boys. And the people you're talking to have girls who are this tall. But my girls in the 7th and 8th grade, are very upset because they're never consistent and they're hot too far more hotter than your son no no well, i will say this i'm not just concerned about the boys because i i did i heard what he said but this is my comment no no i want to the sister uh, uh what's her name latifa yeah the sister latifa she she does the design and she said she will she have uh actually uh a set that's already read She's going to bring it to school, and if, if uh, the administration and the parents agree to it, there will be a change for sisters also. Uh, but this is, as I say, I'm just, don't shoot the message. So I'm just saying, you know what? Do you want this one or the other one? My boys still have to wear, they still have to wear, uh, you know what I mean? Whatever it comes up to. I just go ahead. I, I just basically, I don't want because people come approach me. And they think I'm the one who's going to do the change. No, I'm not. I got to ask everybody. And if the majority say yes, I'm going to do that. Just don't forget my name. That's, That's all I'm saying. Don't forget the sisters. So, inshallah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to do this by please, I want everybody to. This is right now for boys. This is just a right now for boys. Because, inshallah, once we bring that uh, uniform, I was going to show the girls, and then, inshallah, it's up to the so the, the mother to the side. Uh, well, the so, so basically, if, if we have a better material, you'll, you'll be fine with this. But if we have better material, yeah. What's the second Yeah, So we, they're gonna keep the pants, but just uh, wearing or maybe a long sleeve. Huh? Which one? This one here? Alright, so then inshallah, let's, let's do the voting because some of you want to be. So please, whoever wants to stay with this, maybe if you want to change the material, that's fine. So please, whoever wants to stay with this one, please raise your hand. Alright, one, two, three. Okay, whoever, which one do you want this one? Okay. Look at, look at this. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So. <laughs> now we can go out to Dr. Ramdan and show. All right. Salam so alaikum. This year, this year. I didn't promise this year. Okay. All right. So we're going to try to wear some and just like that thing. Okay. okay, if you're going to get an email from the last count, we're going to scan the clothes and get an email to your final count. We have uh, three, one from the three lines. 